Hey guys, the Gamer Admin here. This is how to publish your game on Discord from start to finish. Step 1. Make the game. This may surprise you, but before you can publish your game on Discord, you need to make a game. I tried making a game afterwards, and I lost motivation almost instantly. Next step. Step 2. Make a team. Discord doesn't care if you made the game yourself or not, you need to make a team. Go to discordapp.com slash developers and click the teams tab on the left of the page. At the top right of the teams tab, there will be a new team button to create a team and go to payout settings. Even if your game is going to be free, you have to submit your payment information or else you won't be able to apply for approval. Next step. Step 3. Make an application. This is different from making the game. Because if you want to submit your game to Discord, then you have to go back to the website, and there should be a new application button in the top right. You can name the application, and make sure you say as a team application, or else it won't let you submit it. You can make the icon wherever your game icon is, but the description doesn't matter because it doesn't actually show up outside of the developer website. On the bottom left of the page, there's going to be a developer license pop-up, so click it. Now is probably the time to tell you that there's a $25 fee for each game you want to publish, so get your wallets out. If you can afford to make a game, you can afford the license. Next step. 4. Make a server. If you didn't know already, there is no store page on Discord. You have to sell your game on a server, so it's time to go on Discord and make one. But there's no uh, real standard for servers, but there's a few ideas for what you could do, like categories for um, generic chat and for talking about the game, channels for talking about bugs, and news channels as soon as you link the game to your server. Speaking of which, step 5. Complete the checklist. Go back to your Discord application and click on checklist. You need to complete all the categories to submit it for approval, but if you already made the game, it should be easy. So, let's go over how to complete each and every category. Category 1, Server. This is extremely easy to complete. All you have to do is connect your server to your application by selecting from a drop-down list of servers you either own or have administrator permissions in. This can't be changed, so make sure you pick the right one. This will also give you access to create store and news channels, so you can go ahead and make those right now. Next category. Category 2. Application. This is easy too. Just make the game SKU and say who made it and published it. This usually only takes about 2 minutes, so don't worry. Next category. Category 3. Rich Presence. This is optional and you'd have to code in manually. Plus, it already helps if it's a multiplayer game, so I will let you do this on your own. Next category. Category 4. Game Scoop. Now we're getting into the real stuff. This is where you are going to set information like the genre, price, system requirements, and more. If you don't know what your requirements are, check the website of the game engine you're using. They should be able to tell you on their support page. Next step. Category 5. Builds. This is by far the most important part of the checklist, so I can't afford to make a mistake in this video. Because of this, I'll link the official Discord documents in the description below. Next category. Category 6. Store page. First impressions are everything, which is why having a good store page matters. You'll mainly be p typing in descriptions and adding videos and pictures, so make sure your grammar is on point. Once you're done, go to your server and add a store channel. Category 7, Promotional Assets. Let's say your game is a hit and Discord wants to show it off. Where are they going to show? This is where you will decide. If you don't have any assets and don't know how to make them, you can take a screenshot of your game and put it in a photo editing website like Pixlr.com. Next category. Category 8, Team. You should already have this done because you sent your payment information in the beginning, but if you haven't, go do it now. And with that, you've finished the checklist. Now, click the Get Approved button in the top right of the checklist, click a button one more time to confirm it, and wait. Step 
6, the epilogue. If you got approved, then congratulations, you've successfully sold your game on Discord. But what's next? Well, there's verification. Go to discordapp.com slash verification and get some cool stuff. If you're approved, then you will receive access to perks like a custom invite link, server banner, and a cool badge next to your name. As of right now, the applications aren't closed and actually have been for a few months, but once it opens back up, I'll try and make another video about it. After that, you can expand your game until you've finished your masterpiece. And that is how you attempt to get your game on Discord. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon.